Disclaimer. These videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Jackson, otherwise known as the Battle of Salem Cemetery, located in Madison County, Tennessee on December 19, 1862. Confederate Brigadier General Nathan Bedford Forrest had been tasked with a mission by Confederate command. His job was to lead his cavalry into West Tennessee. The target was Mobile and Ohio Railroad between Jackson, Tennessee and Columbus, Kentucky. This railroad was an important part of the Union supply lines, and if he could destroy it or disrupt it, General Grant wouldn't be able to resupply his troops so easily. So Forrest led 2,500 cavalry across the Tennessee River and headed west. General Grant received reports of Forrest and dispatched General Jeremiah C. Sullivan with 10,000 men and an additional 800 cavalry under U.S. Colonel Robert G. Ingersoll to trap and take care of Forrest. Forrest had engaged and captured Ingersoll and his men on December 18th at Lexington. Forrest then continued his advance. Sullivan attempted to concentrate on Jackson, leaving the surrounding area and railroads undefended in a desperate bid to track him down. On December 19th, Forrest took advantage and attacked the Union forces, pushing him back into Jackson proper. The Union didn't realize they outnumbered Forrest so badly, and Forrest knew he couldn't keep this up. This allowed Forrest to slip two of his cavalry regiments out of town to destroy the railroads north and south of town. Confederate Colonel A. A. Russell destroyed the railroads for Corinth and Boulevard, while Confederate Colonel George G. DeBrill's men destroyed Carroll Station. The next morning, the Confederate troops had slipped away, leaving the Union troops with no target to focus on at all. Losses were minimal, with six Union troops killed, wounded, or missing, while no losses were reported by the Confederate troops. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Yeah.